gentlemen, welcome back to the most hilarious and informative automotive showdown on the internet. Today, we're diving headfirst into the never-ending rivalry between the two Italian supercar giants, Lamborghini and Ferrari. Buckle up, folks, because things are about to get seriously funny. Now, let's start with an important question. Why do Lamborghini and Ferrari hate each other so much? Well, rumor has it that Enzo Ferrari once called Ferruccio Lamborghini's cars overgrown tractors. Ouch! Since then, it's been a red-hot battle of horsepower, speed, and of course, ego. First up, the Lamborghini, also known as the bad boy of supercars, with its sleek design and roaring engine. It's like a rock star on wheels. It's so loud that if you drive it past a beehive, it'll produce honey in seconds. And then we have Ferrari, the epitome of Italian passion. These cars are so fast that if you blink while driving one, you'll end up in the next state. Trust me, I tried it once. Let's just say I'm still paying the parking ticket. Let's settle the old debate. Which car is faster? To find out, we bought in two professional drivers, Mario and Luigi. Not the ones from the video game. And they're going head to head on a racetrack. And they're off. The Lamborghini takes the lead, but wait. The Ferrari unleashes its turbo boost. Oh no! The Lamborghini is eating the dust. I guess it's safe to say that the Ferrari has a need for speed that even Keanu Reeves would envy. Okay, enough racing talk. Let's dive into the personalities of these cars. Lamborghinis are like the party animals of the automotive world. They're flashy, loud, and always ready to turn heads. It's like they've been sipping on energy drinks since birth. And let's not forget the Lamborghini owners, those guys who rev their engines at stop last to impress everyone. Although, I've heard that for every five revs, they lose one year of hearing. So by the time they reach 80, they're practically deaf. On the other hand, Ferrari owners have a more refined taste. They're like the sophisticated James Bond of the world. When they get behind the wheel, they transform into suave secret agents, leaving a trail of envious onlookers in their wake. But here's a little secret. Ferrari owners are so protective of their cars, they won't let anyone else drive them. I tried asking a Ferrari owner for a spin, and he looked at me like I just asked for his firstborn child. Oh, the Ferrari owners and their persistence. I guess they're afraid someone might discover the secret button that activates the built-in espresso machine. Can't blame them. Who wouldn't want a hot cup of coffee while cruising at 200 miles per hour? Now, let's take a peek inside the Lamborghini factory. Did you know that each Lamborghini is handcrafted with love and precision? It's like they're putting together a puzzle made of pure adrenaline. And speaking of puzzles, they say if you can assemble a Lamborghini blindfolded, congratulations, you're a superhero. And over at the Ferrari factory, it's a different story. The assembly line is so efficient that they can complete a car in the time it takes you to tie your shoelaces. Imagine trying to keep up with that pace. The workers are like Formula One pit crews on steroids. Now, before we wrap up, let's say the score once and for all. Which car is better, Lamborghini or Ferrari? The truth is, it all comes down to personal preference. It's like choosing between pizza and pasta. They're both delicious, but it depends on your cravings. So folks, there you have it. The hilarious and informative showdown between Lamborghini and Ferrari. Remember, at the end of the day, it's all about having fun and enjoying the exhilarated world of supercars. That's all for today, folks. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share the video if you're a fellow car enthusiast. And as always, keep laughing and keep driving.